Oh, there's one. Oh my God, he was, no. Look at that fat so. Welcome back to another episode of Addicted Life. Today we got something a little bit different for you. We're gonna be out here doing a little bit of walleye fishing. We'll be doing a little bit of trolling, a little bit of vertical jigging, and hopefully have some action for you. So if you guys are new to this channel, go down here, hit that subscribe button, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to tap that bell notification, guys. If you wanna see more videos like this, stay tuned. Just wait, let me eat it. Okay, Glenda, go ahead and grab it. I mean, I think it is a walleye. I think it's just a smaller one. Woo, look at that monster. Okay, now that is a specimen. Look at that mustache hook. It just catches everything, I guess. That's a little trophy. All right, guys, so we made a couple passes trolling and the tide's not quite right. So we're gonna make a quick switch over and we're gonna do some vertical jigging with some blade baits. Blade bait time, baby. Ooh, that one looks deadly. So when you're twitching up, then you're following your gear back down without a bunch of slack going down, right? And it's what you're doing is that rattle, and it's just pissing them off. And eventually they're gonna eat a watch. Okay, you're good to go. I see a fish swimming on the screen right now, right on. Keep jigging that thing, Glenda. He might be on yours. Come on. Oh my God, I just missed him. Oh, Glenda, reel, reel, reel. You got him? Hold on, it's a wall. I keep him down, Glenda. Okay, lift up. Lift up, lift up. Good job, Glenda. There is a fish in this world. All right, we are on the board, Glenda. That's what I'm talking about. That's a beautiful one, too. See that blade bait there, ladies and gents? That was on the old fire tiger. Just on your little blade bait. Wait. You gotta be a little careful with these guys because they got pretty crazy teeth. Look at those teeth. But this is an absolute perfect eater. This is what we're after. This is about a, I don't know, 16, 17 incher. Just an awesome fish, man. And their eyes, I love their eyes. They got these crazy eyes that are, you can tell they're just really good for hunting and foraging food down there on the bottom. But yeah, man, pretty cool. That's what we're after. We're on the board, yes. All right, guys, so as with any fish, once you catch this beautiful little specimen, we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna bleed him. I'm just gonna take our Gerber knife here. And there's, there's a couple ways to do it. You can actually just cut the gills, but I don't like the gills hanging out of the fish. So it's what I do is right up in here is their, their heart and their main artery right there. So you can just poke that knife through trace it all the way to the back of the gills and then if you want as you can see that really got it going you know it's already bleeding um, or you can just literally take your knife right here and slide down the gills um, on both sides which will then bleed out your fish and it's going to leave you with a much better tasting product so now what i do guys is i just kind of rinse their gills out and i get all the blood out of their gills Give him a nice little squeeze. And as you can see, he's not has almost no blood in the gills now. We'll come up here to our Kong cooler, drip some walleye slime. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of worms and drinks and stuff in there. I forgot about it. And guys, taking care of your fish is super important. I mean, if you're gonna come out here and you're gonna spend all the time and effort in 
coming out here and trying to harvest some fish you want to take care of the fish you catch and put them to good use and and make sure you're getting good table fare so anyways guys stay tuned we got rick a new beautiful looking bait there you probably let me see that bait rick show the people what we're working with here look at this thing now tell me that thing is not just gorgeous let's get in the sunlight Woo. it's almost as cool as my gloves but not quite come on addicts oh there's one. Oh my god he was no that was a giant dude oh my god Dude, did you see that one? Oh boy, that was a big one. Come on, Alex. Let's get another one. Drop a comment down below, guys, if you enjoy walleye fishing or what's your favorite way to target walleye. I think for me, I like vertical jigging them. I don't care if it's with a jig head and a worm or... Actually, I prefer the jig head and the worm, but... This blade bait stuff can be pretty fun too. I just like actively fishing versus trolling. Glenda, Glenda, what are you doing? That was a fish. You still got them, real. I thought it was hitting bottom. <laughs> That's why you gotta really watch it. Yeah. I think it's a walleye. If you thought it was bottom, it should be a walleye. Yeah, I thought it was bottom. Yeah, it's a walleye for sure. Give me a tall left, Glenda. Nice one. All right, guys, there it is in action. And luckily, Glenda caught that because she thought she had bottom. And the tricky thing with these walleye is what people don't realize, they're not a really aggressive, like, hard-biting fish. They'll, they'll, it'll almost look like you're getting hung up. They kind of get heavy on it. Like, well, and then sometimes you do get hung up. <laughs> sometimes you do get hung up. But, so, she almost mistaked it for bottom and it was a fish so the beautiful size great eater size i mean this is absolutely perfect eating size 18 inches 17 inches this will make a great fish taco <laughs> so glenda's up to four tacos now we better step up our game you got a fish wait glenda wait 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 you might be dragging wood Stay with her, Sean, because it might be a fish, but... Yeah, it feels like a fish now. Definitely, yeah. I think it's a fish. Yeah. There you go. I told you that's what they look like when they bite. Yep. Glenda! She's up to six fish tacos! <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, one more and I can feed everybody. <laughs> I told you that was a fish. People don't listen. Listen to your guide. People listen to your guide. People don't listen to me though. I tell them, you know, they bite like bottom. And they really do. They, when you're walleye fishing and you're trolling, it literally looks like you're getting hung up. And then all of a sudden they'll just be like, so remember that. Put that in your tip tech <laughs> secret book. <laughs> oh, there's one. Sean right here. That's a good one. Come get it, Rick. Rick, come here. It's a nice one. It's a real nice one. Real nice. Glenda, watch your rod for me. Give me a lift. Oh, last second. Last second save. Woo, it's a nice one too. First class ticket to Bonkington. Look at that fat, so. Look at how cool they are though, man. I think they're such a cool fish. Look at that pretty little fish. Just a perfect 16, 17 incher. Great for eating. Great table fare. Look at those chompers, man. <laughs> Homemade Rice Krispies, baby. Ba -ba -ba bam I know you guys are jealous right now. Look at this thing. A healthy Rice Krispie treat. Not really in my neck of the woods, but they're good. Got him? Got him? No, I did the, oh yeah, it's still there. Perch, perch. Wait, they're getting bigger. Bigger perch. Cool looking fish though, man. I think they're neat. Look at the head on him. He's, he's a weirdo. <laughs> 
They got this tall dorsal fin on them. Thanks for playing, buddy. Pew. That's a bit here. here. Oh, that's a good one. I don't care. Someone take it. That's a real good one. Rick, reel that one in. She's tangled in it. Here, Glenda, step up. No, 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 no. That's a good one. Left. Nice, Glenda. Let a little line out, Glenda. Ooh, look at that mustad hook just buried in there, baby. Ooh, that might be something we're uh, working on there. I don't want to let you see it too good, so I'm going to move it around a lot so you can't see it. <laughs> see that, guys? It looks like a fish box, huh? Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's pretty small. It's a perch. It's a perch. But still, <laughs> good bite on them. Yep, it is. Good bite on them. It's the a bigger one. Old yellow perch. Just kidding. Ah, Rick, that's a fish. That's a good one. No, 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 don't set it. It's a fish. Don't set the hook. <laughs> I got to scold Rick again. Over the top, sir. Yeah, baby. That's a good one. That's a good name, Don't flop, dude. I don't need hooks in my hand today. You didn't listen. Now you're gonna get the stick. Can we do an instant replay on Rick's hook set? Rick, that's a fish. That's a good one. No, 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 don't set it. That's a good one. No, 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 don't set it. It's a fish. What a stud. Nice one. Right through the heart, guys. Right there. Heart, back to the neck. And then that's your result. No need to do anything else. All right, guys. Final little update here. We're on our last pass. We're going to make one more little pass here and hopefully scratch out one or two more fish. Been a pretty productive day overall. Um, hasn't been lights out, but some good quality fish around. And... Uh, We've got a few, eight or seven or eight in the box. I don't know exactly. Missed a few, lost a few, and uh, pretty good day overall. But we're hoping for one or two more on this last pass. But it's fishing, and you never know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make an incision. And now this is unnecessary. You don't really have to do this. I just like to do it. Oh gosh, that knife's sharp. I just like to do it so I make an incision in the belly so I can separate the two pieces of meat. I'm going to come right up under this peck fin and just make an incision all the way to the backbone. And then just cut through to theirs, all the way to the belly. So now I have this whole single fillet here. I'm going to insert right behind the head. Just with the tip of my knife, and I gotta be real careful because this is super sharp, and if you go through too much, you'll cut away from the fish. And then I'm gonna find the backbone with the tip of my knife and just go right over the top of the backbone all the way through. And then I just leave it onto the tail right there. And then you're gonna just take your knife and literally just trace along the backbone here. And you're gonna just trace that meat. And I'll show you another, the second method you can use here. But as you can see, then it just separates and you have your whole fillet here. And you just take your knife along here and just stay right under the skin there. Out of this specific river system, I'm not huge on eating the belly meat out of these fish. Some guys really like it. I'm not big on it myself. But then is what I do. So I have my belly meat and my back meat and you have this dark line running right here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two incisions, kind of one on each side of that dark line here. And I'm going to just apply pressure and pull and it's gonna pull the belly meat side out. And then you grab that little middle section here and you're gonna do the same thing. And you will just pull real gently here and as you can see, it's just peeling chin bones away from that. So what you're left with is you're left with your big, the big side of the fillet here, 
and your belly meat side of the fillet here. And then you have all your pin bones pulled out. And then you'll just pull the fish over, rotate the fish over and do the same thing. The best part about this zipper method is as you can see from each side of the fish, you have a thick side of the fish and a thin side of the fish. So when you go to make your, you know, your deep fried fish, you always want to keep the same consistency of fish, you know, the, the thinner fish you want to put together to cook and the thicker fish. So this is just a super easy way, super effective way to separate the meat. So you're not putting a belly strip in with a big piece. So super easy, boneless, 100% walleye, yum, yum. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Addicted Life. I hope you had an outstanding time watching us catch some walleye. It wasn't knock them dead fishing, but it was a great time. Don't forget guys, we do these every Sunday, different locations, different fisheries. If you wanna see more of this content, go down here, hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell notification, and we'll see you on the water.